Hey guys, how's it going? P Series PBX Software Edition has officially released. We can install it on a virtual machine or the physical machine. In this video, we'll introduce how to install P Series PBX Software Edition on a virtual machine of Microsoft Windows environment using Hyper V. First of all, we offer a 30 day trial license for free with no upfront payment. We can go to our website yaystar.com and click on the free trial button on the top menu. Then choose software based PBX. Fill in the required information and submit it. Then our trial will be approved automatically and will be directed to Yaster Panda Portal. Lock in with the email we used to apply for the free trial, and here we are. Through this panel, we can continue to activate the P Series PBX software edition. By the way, this is a portal especially for our partners. Here we can view all PBXs we have and manage them. And of course, we can place new orders and find exclusive materials for our customers. All right, now let's go to products and purchase. In the product list, choose software PBX, and here we can find the PBX we just applied. Click on install. In the pop-up, we can obtain the activation code. Note it down for later. Now we choose Hyper-V. We'll be directed automatically at the installation guide. Here we can check all the details. But the first thing to do here is to download the ISO of the software PBX. We offer both automatic and manual installation. You can select whichever you prefer. Now we need to make sure that the PC matches the following requirements. Then we need to create a virtual machine on our PC using Hyper-V. Before we start work here, we need to check if the Hyper-V is of 10.0.17134.1 or later. In the meantime, we should check if we have sufficient hardware resources to spare in our PC for the P-Series PBX software edition. Check this for your reference. Now that we have confirmed everything, we can start the deployment. Firstly, we should enable Hyper-V on the PC. To do that, we should click on the Windows Start button and choose Apps and Features. Then click on Programs and Features. Now in the left side bar of the pop-up window, we'll find Turn Windows Features On and Off. Here we will see a list of all features available for us to switch on and off. Let's find Hyper-V here. Enable it and click on OK. Then we can restart the PC and continue. Now that we have already enabled Hyper-V on our PC, we can start to create a virtual switch for network connection of the P-Series PBX software edition. Firstly, we click on the Windows Start button and in the Windows Administrator Tools, go to Hyper-V Manager. Then, we click on Action and find Virtual Switch Manager. Here we click on New Virtual Network Switch. Then on the right side of the page, Choose external as we create the switch for external connection. Then let's click on create virtual switch. Now we need to do some further settings for it. In the name field, we can name this switch. Then in connection type, select external network. And then in the drop down list, assign an available physical network card on the PC to this switch. Once we're down, click apply and choose yes to confirm our settings and click on OK to move on. For step three, we can create a virtual machine. On Hyper-V Manager, we go to Action, and in New, select Virtual Machine. We can follow the new virtual machine wizard to finish the configuration. We can start by specifying the name and location for the virtual machine. Then move to the next step. Now we choose the generation of the virtual machine. Here we choose generation one. For the next step, we can assign memory for this virtual machine. In this step, we enable use dynamic memory for the virtual machine. Once we have finished, click next to go to the next step. In configuration networking, we we'll select to choose the virtual switch that we just created in the previous settings. Then we can connect to a virtual hard disk. Here we specify a name, location, and size of the disk. Please remember that the size of the disk here must match the requirement in the previous form. When we're finished, we click on Next. In Installation Options, we choose Install an Operating System from Bootable CD slash DVD ROM. 
and in the image file, we choose the ISO file that we downloaded in the documentation. Next, we'll demonstrate the automatic installation process. So here we choose the auto ISO file. Or if you prefer to install manually, then choose the manual ISO file. Please note that the difference in choosing the file here only affects the process of installing the PBX in the VM. It doesn't affect the process of creating the VM. For the last step, it's suggested to check if there's only one hard disk involved in the virtual machine in order to avoid installation errors. To realize that, we can right-click on the virtual machine we created, then choose Settings, and find Hard Drive to do the final check. With everything settled, we can start install Yaystar P service operation. We support both auto install and manual install. To auto install the P service operation, we can right click the virtual machine and click start. Then we right click the virtual machine and connect to the virtual machine. Then in the pop up window, choose try or install Ubuntu server, then press enter. Wait till the installation process is not running, then press enter. If PBX login is displayed and no errors like wait for basics RV run OK occur, it indicates that the PSERVIS software edition is installed. If we prefer to install the PSERVIS PBX software edition manually, we still click on the virtual machine, then choose start and connect. Then in the pop up window, choose try or install Ubuntu server, then press enter. In a while, after we see the menu, select Custom Storage Layout and select Down. Let's set it up. Select Free Space, press Enter. Then in Add GPT, press Enter. In Format, we select Slash Swap. Here we assign 10 gigs of storage space to it. Then click on Create. Now we repeat to do the rest of the free space. Press Enter. Then in Format, choose Slash Extension 4. We assign another 10 gigs to it. And click on Create. Now we repeat. Only this time in mount, we choose slash home, then click on create. Now all the devices are created and we can see in the file system summary. Click on down and continue. Hyper-V will start running. After a while, we'll see this prompt. Here we press enter to move to continue the installation process. Wait till the installation process is not running, then press Enter. When you see the IP PBX login, the installation is complete. Now we can change the default IP address of this PBX before we access it. We put in support and then press Enter. Then add the password prompt. Type in login PBX. However, if your PBX version is older than 83.18.0.18, here we need to enter QHCYAXSGCYWYMG2022. When you're done typing, press Enter. Now we're in the Ubuntu system information. Here we put in 1 and press Enter to update network configuration. We can follow the prompt to put in our new IP address, NetMask, and Gateway, and then press Enter. When everything's down, open the web browser and drop the new IP address. Now we have logged into our free trial. This means that the PBX has been deployed successfully. All right, that was how we deploy the Yaystar P Series PBX software edition by using Hyper-V. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn more about Yaystar P Series PBX system, please visit yaystar.com and don't forget to subscribe our channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Yeah.